Okay, we are on workbook page 464. Today we're doing chapter six, lesson four. So we wanna define a variable and then write each phrase as an algebraic expression. So remember, algebraic means has letters and an expression means no equal sign. So number one, we have four times more money than Elliot saved. So first we need to figure out what do we need to give a variable to? So what do we not know? We don't know how much Elliot saved. So I'm gonna circle that and give it the variable E. Actually, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a lowercase e. But you can use any variable. Any variable would be correct. Now let's find the word that helps us know what operation we need to use. So I know the word times means multiply. So we have four, times more money than what Elliot saved. So four times the amount of money that Elliot saved. So that would be four times E. But we don't need to use the multiplication symbol. We can just write that as four E. So four times the amount of money that Elliot saved. Number two, half as many pages as George read. So we don't know how much George read. I'm gonna make my variable a G. So that's what it means to define a variable. It means find the part of the expression you don't know and give it a variable. Half as many pages. So half means to divide by two. So the amount that George read divided by two. That would be our algebraic expression. Number three, the width of a box that is four inches less than the length. So less means minus. The length we don't know, so I'm gonna use the variable L. So four inches less than the length. So less than is one of those words that you flip around. So whatever the length is, we want four less than that. So we have to do L minus four. If you did four minus L, that would be wrong. So whenever you see the word less than, the number goes in the back. Number four, the cost of five CDs and a $12 DVD. So we have five CDs and a $12 DVD, but what we're trying to find is the cost. So we don't know the cost of five CDs. So I'm gonna use the variable C. We do know the cost of the DVD though, that's $12. The word and means we do addition. So we have five CDs that cost a certain amount we don't know. So you have to do five times the cost of each CD to find the total cost, plus $12 for the DVD. So this represents five CDs times the cost of each CD. So this together represents the cost of all five CDs plus the cost of the one DVD. So that whole thing would be our expression. Number five, Shaco bought a box of popcorn for $3.50 and three medium drinks. Define a variable and write an expression to represent the total amount they spent. Then find the total amount if one drink costs $1.50. So, we wanna make sure we answer every part of the question. So let's define a variable. We wanna write an expression for the amount that they spent. So we know that they spent 350 on popcorn, but we don't know how much they spent on three medium drinks. So that needs a variable, and I'm gonna use the variable D. The word and means addition, but we have three drinks. So three times the cost of each drink. Just like up here, we did five times the cost of the CDs. So we have three drinks that costed D dollars each. Remember, we don't need the multiplication symbol. Plus the cost of the box of popcorn. So this is the total cost. This part represents the total cost of the three drinks combined. Three drinks times how much they each cost, plus the cost of the popcorn. So we defined a variable, 
we wrote an expression. Now, find the total amount if one drink is $1.50. So they're saying, they're basically saying, evaluate if D was 1.50. So we would do three times 1.50 plus 3.50. So order of operations, we have to do three times 150 first. That's 450 plus $3.50. Bring this down. So 450 plus 350, that equals $8 total. So we answered all parts of the question.